and we need to reimagine what our economy looks like so that, that we can all be fed without trashing the planet. The idea of regenerative farming is pretty simple. It's the concept that human beings don't inherently need to trash the planet to eat. It's a bit more labor intensive, but there's no shortage of people who need work. So we do not use pesticides or any type of artificial chemical input. Instead, we are imitating the way the forest works. We grow a lot of crops in high tunnels. These are plastic hoop houses that warm it up a little bit for our cold mountain climate. Inside a hoop house, you're gonna get a lot of pests built up over the season. And also the soil gets a little tired at the end of the season. So I'm gonna put a whole bunch of chickens in there over the winter and the chickens are gonna scratch up. They're gonna eat all the pest insects. They will eat any weed seeds that we didn't catch and they'll poop everywhere and that will be the nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium fertilizer that we need for next season. No chemical inputs and the side benefit is we're going to eat eggs all winter. Soil in some ways will naturally lose its nutrients over time through erosion. It's a natural process. So our job as farmers is to make sure we're adding what we took plus a little bit more every year in the form of compost and different kind of rock dust, uh, depending what our soil needs. The way the soil gets worse is if we accelerate erosion by plowing and tilling often, and also if we're planting crops and not putting back what we took. So you plant corn, you harvest that whole plant, which is a lot of biomass, eat all the corn, but you didn't put any compost back or put any pigs on there to graze. Now you're essentially mining the nutrients out of the soil over time. Topsoil is the thin layer of the Earth's crust upon which all life depends. It's the only thing that will grow food for us. It's the only thing that will grow trees that make oxygen. It is such a thin, fragile layer that it can be very easily damaged. So we, um, we need to preserve our soil. I mean, the good news is we can build it. You know, we can build it through composting and mulching and, and put it back. But the natural cycle, you know, it takes hundreds of years just to build one inch of, of precious soil. <laughs>